cock a hoop, the big cockerel is a winner and will lord it over Trafalgar Square. And cock a snook, sacre bleu, it's blue, so it's French, and it's invaded Nelson's territory, symbol of Britain's historic military might. The square is very blokish, packed with stern wartime heroes. The artist sees the cockerel as a way of keeping that masculine tradition going, but making the place less severe. Do, do you think that Lord Nelson would have approved? I don't know. I, maybe not, because, uh, yeah. But now we have, we are, yeah, as I said, in the 21st century, so I think men are able to laugh a little bit about themselves, hopefully. First up on the plinth for 2012 Olympic year, a boy on a rocking horse. Again, he pokes gentle fun at the square's generals, but he also celebrates the triumph of just growing up. He is kind of more the new kid on the block. He's also made in bronze, but like he's newer and fresher and not so dark as the old gentleman. Is he also heroic to some extent, do you think? To some extent, I think so. I mean, growing up is a sort of heroism as well, you know, especially today with all the demands put upon children, you know, to be number one or to get in there first and, you know, be famous or become a celebrity. Nelson's ship in the bottle has pride of place today. Competition for the fourth plinth commission is intense. We've grown the fourth plinth as a commissioning process into the most significant public art commission in Britain, but also one of the most significant public art commissions in the world now. First past the post then, the first gold of the Olympics, a boy on his horse. The year after, this will be one you couldn't possibly miss, a bright blue bird to brighten up the square.